Hello guys and welcome to another video from BetfairTradingCommunity.com. Today we are going to talk about when do you cash out? Do I cash out? Do I use it? Or do I let the bet run? What is the actual solution? What is the answer to this question? How do I know when I should get out of the market and when I should stay in? That is a really good question. We need to answer it, right? We need to do the training on this because um, I know so many of you guys ask this and I don't think there's a lot of information out there on the internet at, about this at the moment. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to teach you how to cash out at the optimal time and it's going to be a great video so stick around hopefully you enjoy it so first thing we're going to do is actually a little bit of live trading we're going to get onto betfair and i'm going to explain some of the principles of cash out while we're placing our trade today so let's just head on over to the site at betfairtradingcommunity.com so i'm just going to type that in and we'll load that up and we're going to actually go and find our strategy here. So if we just click this stats software button here on the right hand side once you've logged in and we're going to want football software, it's the second one down. You can actually just click this football here as well in the middle. So we made it really easy for you guys uh, to find that, which is cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at Tomas lay under 1.5 strategy for this trade that we want to use as our cash out example. So go to my save filters and I'm just going to click Tomas lay under 1.5 goals and we lay under 1.5 goals if the odds are 3.50 or below and the game is Shelbourne against Drogheda. Okay, so that's the game we're going to use for this and let's head on over to Betfair. Remember that game Shelbourne v Drogheda and that's one we're going to look up now. So we go to football and we'll go to, oh, it was there already, look, in the top, Irish Premier Division. And Shelbourne Drogheda kicking off at 7.45, okay. So we've got a bit of time, but there's nothing wrong with getting this trade on early. So traditionally, this is actually a set and forget, which means that we would not cash out this bet under normal circumstances, okay. Why? Because testing says it's not value to do so. Testing has said this works really well. If you just let the bet run, you will make a profit over time. And we've, we've done really well with this strategy. So let's go to over under 1.5. And as we can see here, we can actually lay at 3.25, which is perfect. So let's just use small stakes for this example. Show £10. Because I'm not doing this as a normal bet. I'm actually going to try and cash out of this one if we can. Um, so let's just confirm that. And as you can see, the bet has been matched. Okay, cool. So what you'll notice first off is that cash out is already available, right? Now, if I've decided, oh no, this is the wrong trade or I don't like this anymore, I can now instantly take a profit of, well, minus 31 pence, so actually a loss of technically of 31p which obviously is not a very good optimal play, is it? It's not a very good optimal play to place a bet and instantly take a loss for no apparent reason, right? So, but that's what cash out is in a nutshell. If you're clicking this cash out button, you're essentially hedging up for an equal red or green, equal profit or loss, based on what the market price is giving you, okay? Now, what I will say is that with normal software, like trading software, you can get slightly better odds sometimes. Um, but I know a lot of you guys like to use the Betfair website. So that's what we're going to use today for this example. So the key here is that we've got a few options. OK, now the first option is just place this bet and let it run. And if Shelbourne Drug Hater has two goals, we win £10, £9.80 after commission. And we're laughing. We're happy with that, right? Nice little bit of money. That's good. However, I know a lot of you guys want to trade. Okay, so what I want to show you in play is the options you'll have for trading this strategy, whether it's trading out for a loss or trading out for a profit. We'll see how this game goes. I'm hoping we do get a goal fairly early on so that we can look at ways of hedging for a profit. But we might have to do the same thing in the loss column if not. Okay, now the key here is that the first option, so number one, is just letting the bet run okay now if your strategy during testing has said that is the optimal thing to do then just do that okay don't get too caught up in yeah but it's trading i want to do trading i don't want to do betting what you need to get caught up in is what brings profit so if your strategy and data is telling you 
it brings more profit if you leave the bet to run, then come on, it's optimal. It's, it's simple maths. You go with it, right? We know that, okay? A lot of people struggle with actually following through with that. Now, one thing I will say is that bank management is absolutely crucial no matter what you do, but it's even more crucial actually if you are letting a bet run. You have to be able to back yourself up with enough of a bankroll compared to your stake because you will get longer runs of losing. You will get longer runs of losing because with letting something run, you know, let's say I lose three of these in a row for my £10 stakes, I've lost £66. Actually, six, seven pound fifty. Okay, that's in three trades, and a lot of people struggle with that. You know, if let's say you've got, I don't know, let's say you've got a five hundred pound bankrupt, you lose sixty seven pounds. That's over ten percent. Okay, it's around fifteen percent of your bankrupt. That's not what you want to be losing, is it? So the key here is to go and back yourself up with your bankroll. You know, if you've got a five hundred pound bankroll. Maybe stick to five pound lay stakes, maybe even less. And if you Google bankroll and bet staking on Google, I, I think we're number one, right? Because the article I've written on this is so popular with people. So maybe an arrogant, it's just what I've been told by lots of people. And actually, I've saved so many people from losing money in trading using simple bankroll management techniques. Okay, so we've got this Shell Bond Arcade again. We're going to come back for the in play uh, very soon. Okay, so you join me live now as the match is in play. And as you can see, there's been a goal. Now, we've got a couple of options here as the market gets itself together. One easy option is to actually lay over 1.5 goals. So let's say we put in, probably I need to put in around, well, if we put in 22.5, where we go, yeah. So 22.5. If we put that in, because that's our liability, we can actually leave a green on the other side of the market here, okay? Now, what you wanna be aware of is obviously you wanna get out quickly if that's what you're gonna do. Um, so that's one way you can do it. You can just hedge by having a free bet on the under 1.5 goal side and keep your initial bet, which is trying to win on over 1.5 goals essentially. Now, I like this option a lot when there's a big difference between the zero and say, say I had zero and 20 pound profit on the other side, that would be a good opportunity to do this. However, with this one, there's not a ton of difference, right? Three pound 25 to two pound 41, there's not a big difference in that profit. So you might as well, in my opinion, in this spot, you might as well take the profit in this situation, which I'm gonna do now and see if we can get just a snag, a nice little profit here as we press the cash out button. Now, what you'll see a lot of the time is this, where it will make you do it twice. We've already got the initial one matched. Uh, this is just to get us like a couple of pennies. It's worth doing. And as you can see here, we don't need to lay anymore. That is done, right? That's a profit, £2.44. Now, this was not the optimal play. The optimal play on this game was to let it run. I just wanted to show you how to do cash out, kind of explain the options. Again, I like the option of leaving a free bet when there's still big profit to be had. But if there's not much difference between that and just taking the green, then just take the green in this spot. But they're essentially your three main options. You either let the bet run, you let it, you kind of trade out for a free bet when it goes your way, or you hedge for a profit or a loss at some point in the game on both sides equally. Now you can drip play, I'm not, and drip back, kind of drip your stake out gradually if you'd rather do it that way. In this case, so for a £10 stake, I'd be dripping out maybe by you know £1 stakes or £2 stakes until I've got all of my liability out when it goes my way. I don't love doing this particularly on this market in this situation um, because what's probably going to happen is you're just going to end up with you know wiping any profit or making the full win. Um, so you're kind of better off, I think, either greening up or letting it run. Um, and again, the optimal play here is to let it run. So what's the right decision? Let's say you're, you're making a trade and you're not sure, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to green up here? Do I go for the free bet? The only way 
you can actually know definitively the answer to this is to test your strategy and see what works best. And I'll get asked this a lot. I know I will. And my answer will always be test the strategy. The data will give you the answer. That's really important to remember, right, guys? Because so many of you just kind of ignore the data of what's actually happening and you just look purely at the result. But look at, well, would I have made a profit if I greened up here? Or would I have been better letting it run? Because ultimately, if your strategy says that you would be better letting it run, then that's what you want to do. And the same with if you find out that you're actually better greening up. I mean, I've seen something, especially with lay the draw. I've seen people who do phenomenally well at that um, on our site. And I know that that strategy, I've even looked at these before and looked at the results. If they hadn't greened up, they, that strategy wouldn't have made money. So strategies do depend on what works for them. And it's really important to find out what it is. And you can get the answer definitively. That's the thing. We've got the answer at our fingertips if we want it. So it really is just simply a case of testing it, guys, and seeing what works. Um, but anyway, that's cashing out in a nutshell. There's three main options. You can either let it run, you can kind of hedge for a free bet on one side and no loss on the other, or you can take a full green all round, which is what we've done today. I hope that's made it clear for you, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, more important than even any of that stuff, I hope you make some money trading on Betfair this week.